Hey guys, this is Kirsten. Oh, I almost <laughs> I almost did the intro of Sleeping on the Job podcast. Hi, this is Kirsten from Sleeping on the Job podcast. Anyway, um, so I thought I would show you this uh, cool overlay that I have. Um, I have Shelly Ferguson's um, overlays, which I think she closed up her shop, but I just saw someone else post that they bought them on Etsy, so I guess they're still floating around or maybe someone else made one um, but they're the curtain overlays so I took this picture of my daughter she's sitting in front of the translum t-r-a-n-s-l-u-m translum paper from savage and my Einstein is behind her and then I clearly have a second light in front because I can see the catch lights um, anyway the kind of the high key thing which I don't do often but I do love and I showed this picture to my daughter to ooh and ah over it and she's like I look like a sticker so she didn't like it or she liked her self but she didn't like how she looked like a sticker on a piece of paper so I ran to Shelly's store and let me click on my overlays So there's a couple window options. So because you can't see the ground, maybe I'll do this one. Okay, then I always lower the opacity down like that. Put a layer mask, which is the little rectangle with a circle in it, which is white, so we need a black brush. I'm going to right click to get off of my logo and just get a nice soft brush. Okay, I'm going to start the bracket keys make the brush bigger or littler. So what I do is I kind of, at 100%, I get it off of her. Then I lower the opacity usually down to like 20-ish and just slightly paint around her to get rid of any halo that might show up. Okay, now I'm going to raise the opacity back. So now it looks like she's sitting in front of a window and I showed my daughter and she's like, oh, I love this way more. So it's just, it's very subtle, but I think it just kind of ties it in. I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, so then I took this um, picture a while back. I think, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to tackle this big crease over here. Oh my God. I think I'm going to do... Um, the quick selection and then select subject up here. Let's see how accurate that can get. Okay, looks good. Um, I don't really care about down here. I can fix that later. Then I'm gonna go select and mask. Now my computer is super fast, but for some reason, whenever I click on this, it's like slower than death. So bear with me while I just use, I call it the flaming brush here to kind of chase trace around her. My cat is sitting right to my left watching me. She approves. It's funny, like I said, my computer is like lightning fast. I don't know how people edit on a slow old computer. And I like literally store nothing on my computer. I have, um, like two, three terabyte external hard drives on my on my computer desk. Okay, let's let that think. The spinning wheel of death. Wish I had a story to tell you while we're waiting, but. Alas. Okay. 
I'm going to click, these are just the default settings right here, but I'm going to click on invert and then new layer with layer mask and then hit OK. Then click on the background. Then click on the original picture, not the layer mask. So the layer mask has her on it. So now we're on the background, which is on the left here. I think I'm going to try painting. So I'm going to click on the paintbrush. I'm going to click a picture, a picture. I'm going to click on a color right by her head. So with this, I keep one hand on the alt button so I can like sample paint, sample paint. And if we have to blend, then we'll blend. So click, keep sampling right next to her so there's no halo or anything. We'll blend up there, no big deal. Okay, to blend, I'm gonna go down to like 50% here just to get rid of that big. Maybe 30% here. Okay, so I love everything down there, love everything back there, that's fine. Oops, I lowered the opacity, bring it back to 100. Okay, some of that got on there, so I gotta just click and get rid of that. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like that for now. Okay, that looks beautiful. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and flatten it. And then file, place, linked. I didn't do a dry run of this, so I'm just kind of like winging it. But we're gonna try this and see what this looks like. Okay, but now we have to see if it makes sense. No, it doesn't, because we want the floor to maybe be like there. Okay, so we're gonna put a layer mask on, get the black brush. Oh my gosh, my dog wants to be pet. Hi, Cosmo. And then I'm gonna, whoops. Oh, that's why I did that, got it. Okay, so we're gonna just, then I'm gonna lower the opacity down to like 30 so I can blend, blend. Okay, so that to me, and I would just, blend that real good. Um, oh, I got some on her hair. And then do the 20% like I was saying to get rid of any halos. But to me, it like, you know, talk about like making or breaking the picture. I think that's just absolutely beautiful. Voila. Awesome.